welcome to my cyber panel video training series today i'll be showing you how you can change this ip to a custom domain also known as a host name which is the topic we'll be covering for today in our last video we set up a reverse dns and that will enable us achieve this host name configuration if you have not watched my previous videos go ahead and check them out that's enough let's now go back and update our host name cyber panel has this getting started wizard just click on get up wizard or set up wizard and we're going to enter our host name here and i'll enter my host name remember this host name we set it inside cloudflare if you have not watched my Cloudflare connection video, go ahead and watch that video. In that video, I demonstrated step by step how to create a records or host name for your cyber panel. So watch that before watching this video. It's important. So now we've entered our host name. Scroll down and do not skip. Okay. Do not skip it and click on start configuration all right so this task is successfully completed before you can achieve this you have to first of all set what we call reverse dns and that's what i explained in my video six watch that before watching this so it's important you watch these videos in order if not you have hard time setting up cyber panel all right so now that we've successfully passed this stage we are going to we are now going to click on restart cyber panel and it's going to take three seconds to restart and a new ssl will be fetched so just wait patiently you can also click here to restart cyber panel all right so i'm going to do that right now i'll just click on refresh and wait patiently all right so now let's open our site with this url so all we need to do is you just copy it and open it in a new tab like this hit enter wait patiently and right now you can see you are not using an ssl and then a host name and not that ip address okay next up what we're going to do is we're going to add column 1890 because that's the custom port for cyber panel and now we're using this host name right so thank you for watching this video in my next video i'm going to show you how you can enable ssl in case your ssl has issues but after going through this step what i guess shoot you ssl should install itself all right so thank you for watching hoping to catch you in my next video bye bye